What's up guys, Jordan here, and a couple of days ago someone asked me how I was already able to get iOS 5 and how they could as well. And how I was able to get iOS 5 before it was released to the general public is because I'm part of the iOS development program. But something that I think a lot of people don't know is that you actually don't have to be a developer to join the development program program. All you have to do is sign up, although it does cost to sign up. It's $100 to sign up and you'll get not only iOS 5 but any new unreleased developer builds of iOS that Apple releases to the developer community before they release it to the general public and you'll also get lots of information and resources, although most of this is for developers, obviously. If you do decide to join the development program, I would suggest waiting about a week before you do so, just ensure that you'll still be a member during next year's WWDC if Apple releases iOS 6 during that time and it would give you about two weeks to download it before your membership runs out. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to join the iOS development program which isn't hard to do at all and then I'm going to be showing you how to download iOS 5 beta and install it on your iOS device since this is a little bit different than simply hitting update in iTunes. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you need to do is go to developer.apple.com then up at the top click on programs then iOS developer program then enroll now and this gives you the basic guide to how you'll enroll in the program you first register as an Apple developer you select the program that you want to join in our case iOS and then you complete your purchase hit continue and I would recommend that you create a new Apple ID for the developer program just to keep things simple but you can use your current Apple ID if you'd prefer to do that then hit continue and then select individual and from here on out you just go through the registration process filling in everything that they ask for and then you'll select the program you'll review and submit it agree the license you'll purchase the program and then activate your program very simple to do just follow the directions and guidelines and you'll be fine now once you've completed the registration and you're now part of the Apple developer program go to iOS Dev Center and then up at the top select login now this page will come up and you'll go ahead and fill in your Apple ID and password then select sign in now once you log in it'll bring you to this page and you can go ahead and select downloads and it will bring you down to the download section now something real quick that I didn't mention before devices that are updated to iOS 5 beta cannot be restored to earlier versions of iOS devices will be able to upgrade to future beta releases and the final iOS 5 software so you can't downgrade your device so you're stuck with iOS 5 but from what I can tell it's a very stable developer build I haven't had any glitches or any problems out of the ordinary a couple apps have crashed a few times but really that happens um, on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes so it's very stable um, no big bugs that I've seen so anyways uh, continue down the page and first you will have to download and install iTunes 10.5 beta so go ahead and download that and then install it and then you'll need to select your version of iOS 5 that you need so go down and find your device I have an iPod touch 4 generation so select that and it will go ahead and download now once the download is complete go to your downloads folder and find the DMG that says iOS 5 beta double click on it it will mount it on your desktop and then you will see the file right there now you can close out of it and head over to iTunes now once in iTunes you can go ahead and plug in your iOS device now make sure you let iTunes back up your device so everything is just how it is now when you update to iOS 5. Okay, now that iTunes has finished backing up the device, we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna back up that backup. Because for me, after it was all done updating to iOS 5, it started syncing with my computer and iTunes only saves one backup at a time, so it erased that backup. So what you need to do is you go into the finder, then under your username, go to library, then application support, and then go into mobile sync then you'll see the backup folder 
look for the one with the timestamp that you just backed it up and then copy and paste that file to your desktop now if it does that same thing you have the file right here and you can drag it back in to the backups folder and uh, restore your device with that backup now back in iTunes we're finally ready to update our iDevice to iOS 5 what you need to do is hold down option and then click restore it'll bring up a little window where you'll select what you want to restore it from select the DMG that we previously mounted to the desktop then select the one file that's inside of it and hit open now it will begin updating your iDevice to iOS 5 once that's finished on your iDevice you'll see a basic setup that you'll need to go through because remember setup is now on the iOS devices not in iTunes anymore and you'll go through answering a couple questions like uh, what country and what language and then you'll see a list of options whether to set up your iDevice as a brand new device, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes. Select restore from iTunes and then plug it back in to iTunes if you need to. Then you'll see a window such as this pop up in iTunes and select which backup to restore it from. Then select restore. Then you'll see the status bar come up in iTunes telling you how much time is left until restoring from backup is complete. And after it's all complete, you are now free to use your iDevice with the new iOS 5. And that's how you're able to get iOS 5 now before everyone else. Now, if this video helped you out, please be sure to like it and tell me your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Um, be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you like my stuff, be sure to subscribe and check out my WWDC recap video right there. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video real soon. Later.